Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on One Day, One Doan, a way to celebrate supporting Doan's life-changing education. I'm Ann Hageman, the Interim Director um, of Alumni, and I'm here with a Doan parent, Lance Wagner, and his son and student, Alex Wagner. And to start us off today, I'm gonna to let Alex go ahead and tell us a little bit about himself. Alex? Yeah, so I am a sophomore business and accounting double major with minor in leadership studies. I'm from right here in Lincoln, Nebraska, um, just down the road a little bit. Um, I am a part of the Delta Cap Pi fraternity here on campus. And I am also on the shotgun sports team. And I am also in the Dome Choir and a part of the Hanson Leadership Program and also in Turning Point USA. Great. Do you wanna um, tell us, Alex, what brought you to Doan? Um, quite a bit. My parents, uh, both my parents went to Doan. Um, so it was kind of just one of the places I wanted to visit. Um, I think a lot of the schools that I visited were smaller schools. I think that's kind of was one of my big mindsets going into colleges. I wanted to stick to a smaller school. I, coming from Pius and Lincoln, I only, I think it was about 1200 kids. So about right at the size of Doan. Um, and it was just kind of one of those things that made it smaller. Um, I think when I was looking at the brochures, it had like a 11 to one or 14 to one uh, student teacher ratio, which was really nice. Cause then you kind of actually are able to get a little one-on-one -on -one time um, with the teachers. And um, I think that was really one of the biggest things was just small. When I came here to visit, it just kind of seemed like a family atmosphere and there were familiar faces that I saw on campus. And so that helped a lot as well, so. Yeah, thanks. Do you wanna um, tell us about how Doan is helping you achieve your goals with your majors? Um, well, it's very, uh, I guess what I'll start with is the teachers, to be totally honest. Um, a lot of them, or right, just about all of them are just really, really helpful. I mean, every single one you go into a class, they say, you know, if you're not understanding anything, you need to email us. Um, and they're all, you know, they all have office hours. They're all even willing to change their office hours just to get a student in that needs help. Um, so just different things like that um, are really helpful. Great. And then um, how about, this is gonna be hard, but maybe you could share a special memory or two. I can let you think about um, that. Yeah, I might need to take a second. Okay, then let, let's talk to um, let your dad, Lance. Um, Lance, what what do you value about Dome? Geez, uh, that's a that's a tough question. There's there's a lot of things that I value from my time at Dome. It was it was four really quick years, and we packed a lot of things into those four years. Um, academically, I was challenged every day, uh, and I always appreciate that because it. Uh, everybody at Doan pushed me, both not just from an academic perspective, but the extracurricular activities I was in as well. I always had a lot of support on um, both sides of that. Um, a lot of lifelong friendships that came out of Doan. And that's one thing that that really, I again, sticks with me every day. I, there are uh, people that I talk to with, with regularity that where those friendships started at Doan. Uh, and that's, uh, that's, one, that's one big part for me. Great, thank you. Um, in your opinion, Lance, what's something um, important that Doan is doing right now? Well, I guess right. I guess I'll, I'll put this in two parts. I think there, there's a couple things that 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 Doan is is very mindful of, and that's the the students, the work that they're doing with the current with the students, um, ensuring that there is strong uh, academic success um, coming out of Doan. I also think Doan's doing a very good job of being uh, strategically. Uh, strategically thinking about uh, the present and the future, short term and long term, and I think that's a that's a very important component of, of the success that Don has had. Um, that's that, that strategic thought of what do we need to be mindful of, what do we need to be thinking about, and not just for uh, again the students that we have today, uh, but for the students we might have tomorrow, because uh, it the the change is rapid right now, um, and I think Don's Don's keeping up with that with with a real good pace. Thank you. Did you think of something, Alex? Do you want to share a memory that you have, a special memory from Doan? Well, I think I, there's 
quite a few, I'm sure, out there. Um, I think one of the one of my best memories is, and I can't dive into it very deeply um, for certain reasons, but I think honestly, weeks of the Greeks last year was really special. Um, just getting to know um, the guys in my pledge class and getting to know them better. It was, I feel like kind of a rocky start to the week, but just going through the week and being able to do everything that we did with each other and getting to know each other and working with everybody is, it was just a really, really phenomenal experience. Um, and it was also, you know, right before we shut down and everything. So we were still able to do everything that we could. Um, and it was just a really great, um, I should say, honestly, end to the year. Like if, if it had to go the way it did, you know, with everything shutting down, that was an amazing way to end that for that first year at Dome. Yeah. You had that kind of, you built that support around you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. as, as things change. That's great. Lance, do you, do you want to talk about don't experiences or a memory? Sure. Well, I, I, it would be awful if I didn't, didn't mention my wife, um, meeting my wife at Doan was, uh, was obviously a, a big part, a big, of uh, my experience at Doan. Um, so, and I can, I can safely say, uh, 25 years later, she's still stuck with me, which that's a big testament to her because I'm certainly not easy to, to hang out with, but, uh, that's obviously one big, uh, experience. You know, Alex had mentioned his time with Delta Cap Pi. I was also, uh, a part of Delta Cap Pi. Again, some great, great memories there uh, with with folks in the fraternity, or, you know, the guys in the fraternity. Um, you know, the professors I had. I mean, I unfortunately uh, don't necessarily keep in touch with with a lot of professors. I've had the opportunity to to talk to one or two of them over the uh, last several years, which has been great. Um, but again, uh, the their support and their their academic push was was a big part of that experience as well. What's it like having your son um, at Doan? It's special. Um, I remember taking or going along with him on the various campus tours. And I didn't, you know, this wasn't done on purpose, but we, it just happened to be that Doan was the last campus tour that we took. Um, and just getting to, again, kind of walk behind him, let him soak it in. And I, was, I wasn't pushy, I swear. I, didn't, I wasn't trying to encourage one way or the other, letting him make the, his decision. Uh, but it was exciting for for me and for Barb uh, to hear him say that that Don was his choice. And uh, again, again, both Barb and I had had great experiences at Don, and and we, we really feel like so far he's had very good experiences, and we're sure that as he continues his his career at Don, he'll continue to have outstanding experiences. That's great. Thank you. So, is there anything else that you two would like to share about Don? Well, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, you know, I, I think we've already uh, uh, expressed, you know, the importance of Doan in our lives. Um, and, and it continues to do wonderful things. And, and we certainly appreciate uh, the outreach from Doan. Um, I might mention um, with One Day, One Doan coming up, um, for everybody that might be watching, if you, if you are willing, uh, take the time to, to pledge something to One Day, One Doan. Uh, I'm not going to say the amount doesn't matter. I'll let uh, some Ann or somebody else maybe mention that, but uh, I think any, any bit helps. And I think it, it don't, is very uh, mindful and, and fiscal, fiscally responsible with, with the money that they do take in. So uh, I know Barb and I are, are uh, proponents of, of regularly giving to Doan. Um, and we want to continue to do that and appreciate that, that support. Thank you. Alex? So I also, um, one thing I did want to add was I'm really, really happy as to how Doan has um, worked through the fall semester and now in the spring semester um, and how, even though obviously we, there are a lot of regulations to it, they, they're allowing campus to be open. Um, I think it's just such a huge part of the college life is just being able to be here on campus. Um, and I just think that's super special that they're able to have that open and allow students to uh, do the things on campus here and not have to be um, just kind of basically on a computer screen all day. Um, so I think that's just a really, really awesome thing that Doan's doing right now. Um, and then obvi obviously um, for one day, one Doan coming up, um, just 
uh, any amount that anyone can give is it will always help. Um, so just to help Doan uh, to keep doing these great things, to keep campus open, um, and to keep giving kids like me just the opportunity to be here. So. Thank you, Lance and Alex, for being here today and for helping us with the One Day, One Doan campaign. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. I'm sorry Barb wasn't here. She's much better looking on camera. I'm sorry you had to put oh, up with me. We all Let just it. love Zoom, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's the name of the game right. anymore. So, Alex, good to see you too. Get back to yep. class, please, okay? <laughs> nice to meet you. 11. Take care, guys. <laughs> see you guys. Take care. All right, we'll see you.